guys, Joshy here. Um, I thought this video was gonna be longer. It was pretty long before before I cut it, but check out my last videos, Chainsaw Man, Tokyo Avengers. The Chainsaw Man in particular kind of take a while to um, get going, but Ch Tokyo Avengers weekly, obviously with the chapter uh, releases. But thanks again for clicking. You're probably gonna hear me do another intro again, but yeah. Hey, welcome, Chainsaw Man, Volume Five, Chapters, so and so. I don't know what chapters this is, but let's get started. So it starts off with um, Aki conveying the hoodie girl. She commands Tamino's ghost devil to attack Aki, but Aki's cutting off arms left and right because you know his future devil gave him like some of that power to um, see into the future a little bit. Observation Aki from like One Piece kind of shit, you know, compared to like that. He's doing that until an arm chokes him. You know, he gets a flashback of Tamino smoking a cigarette. The ghost devil lets him go and it gives him a cigarette that says easy revenge then he walks inside of that ghost devil and cuts off the head the hoodie girl sees this and then orders like her snake ability to go eat aki but kobini just shows up right behind her with the knife at her neck I'm like hey bitch she ain't doing nothing this conversation's over then it cuts to power and denji in the elevator it finally opens you see a crowd of zombies denji asking power like hey yo stay back you know they might not see us so just keep it cool but nah she goes just freaking goes balls blazing into that hoe and she's like hey denji you tell the how you tell the you're gonna tell the tell the legendary power denji just walks off you know goes back into the elevator and then the elevator reaches the floor and he sees that guy with the sideburns right the samurai dude <laughs> devil so this sideburn dude and denji are just arguing back and forth like hey you killed my grandpa denji i'm trying to convince the guy hey he was already a zombie when i killed him so it's not that big of a deal but that guy ain't believing shit so he decides to freaking tackle denji through the wall falls on top of a train denji falls on the top on the train and he's like oh shit where's this guy boom hits him right to the roof of that train they're inside the train they're fighting and then this lady ends up in the middle of the fight denji tries to protect her you know trying to block all the sword dude's attack and then he does like this instant transmission the sword dude boom just like earlier his arm falls off and he's like you know what this ain't gonna stop him. he goes in for another one loses the other arm and that sword dude's just trying to give denji like hey just apologize and i'll let this shit go dog just apologize about killing my grandpa denji not wanting to do that still fights him he got his chainsaw head out now the sword dude's like hey did you just give up man just apologize about killing my grandpa i'll let you go you only you got your arms cut off man denji not wanting to do any of this he's like you know what i still got the chainsaw on my head the sword guy does that teleportation again thinking oh shit i got i got him this time obviously right and he has like one more time hey denji apologize man denji stops and he's like you dumbass right and then boom the sword guy's cut in half then it cuts to like the scene outside the train denji got some tied up he's like well maybe maybe we should do something to you like a little punishment because you did you did kill my friend mino and he's like you know what let's have a tournament to see who's gonna hit his nuts hardest right he's like oh shit aki shows up he's like nah i don't i don't think i'm gonna be a part of this right then he looks at that cigarette and he's like you know what what do i get if i win denji he goes in and they start just going ham on his ass on his nuts actually then makima's telling these individuals like this panel of what went down during this thing and as well as like some information that she gathered she was like these terrorists are former public safety they're selling guns to the yakuza and as well as like they formed the contract with the gun devil and then they're like oh shit, okay then why what was their intentions the hoodie girl did a suicide to prevent any details info getting leaked out so they couldn't really ask her any questions from this event though they have enough gun pieces gun devil pieces for it to start trying to find its original body the whole body then she gets a dream of a door and he hears pocha's voice like hey don't open this door then boom he wakes up power power has like some new horns now right so they're like you know what let's go take this to makima makima probably knows what's going on so these horns are just um because he drank too much blood and now they have to drain this blood for these horns to go down a little bit makima asks denji on a date denji's fucking you know hell yeah fuck yeah i want to go on a date with makima so the, the date comes around he doesn't know what to do so makima takes the lead so they just movie hop in they they watch some movies they don't get a reaction there's another movie kind of mid another one mid and then they they reach the last movie and it's supposed to be like some awful movie that was so ass no one even wanted to watch it it was so easy to get tickets so but they end up crying during this movie and they both really enjoy it and then denji just the question like hey makima do you think i have a heart makima puts his her head on denji's chest and is like huh yeah I, I, I do hear a heartbeat 
So I'll say you sound pretty human to me. I can man, Denji's out there fucking <laughs> doesn't know what to do now from that shit. God damn. Denji just thinking about this the whole day, walking around, so happy. He's like, ah, oh, hell yeah. I'm human. Ma Makima said, I went on a date with Makima, you know, all this shit. So spreading positivity in the world. This is probably my favorite part. They're asking like donations for like um devil aid. I guess people who were involved with the devil in some way to donate some money. And then he's like, yeah, yeah, I got a heart now. I'll donate some money. And they're like, oh, thank you. Here's a flower. And he looks at the flower and eats that hoe. And that, that bitch in the background, she's like, oh, shit, what the hell? Fucking weird ass. And then it starts raining. But he's walking with that fucking, um, that shark fiend. So he's like, hey, yo, shut up, man. Don't let no one see you. He pokes out saying, oh, it's raining. Tell us that's to get back down there. So Denji walks walks into a phone booth to get some cover. Then another lady goes in at like around the same time. And then she starts busting out laughing like, haha, you <laughs> you remind me of my dog. I used to Den and then Denji's like saying, What? I look like a dog kinda I guess kinda makes her cry a little bit. And then Denji's like, Oh shit. So he just he tries to cheer her up, cheer her up with like a magic trick. He pulls that flower that he ate earlier out of his mouth. And she's like, Oh wow, magic. He's like, There's no magic here. She asks Denji, like, hey, you should come by my work. I gotta I give you a thank you gift, you know, something to pay you back. So this motherfucker, Denji, he shows up instantly after that interaction. He even shows up before her. And they're all like, what the fuck? Hey, why are you why are you here? Uh, where's that surprise? And he's like, oh shit. He got there earlier than him. And then Denji shows up and he's like, hey, what what's your name? And she's like, oh my name's Reese. And then Reese is over here getting like Denji kind of all these subtle hints, right? Say, so, and Denji's even thinking like, oh shit, I, th I think this girl likes me, right? And he's like, oh shit, hope, hope I pray for Makima to save me before I fall for this girl far. But, you know, get a quick word from our sponsor. Have you just been tired? You're like, damn, I wish I had the energy to keep on going. Like my favorite YouTuber, Joshi. Well, now you can with the new flavor from G Fuel Joshi flavored. Joshi, Joshi Outburst. <laughs> <laughs> use use code Joshi for a BOGO sale. Buy five, get five free. That's how good my coupon is. Just kidding, don't use my coupon. It's a prank or something. Um, it's a self-promotion. I'm not sponsored by G Field. Don't sue me, please. But um, hope your future enjoying this video so far. Leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff, and um continue to our regular scheduled programming. Boy. Then it cuts to Aki and the angel. Angel devil, right? They're working together. And Aki's like, all right, come on, we're gonna go do some shit. Well, she was saying, or he, the angel devil's a he. Angel devil's like, nah, I'm too tired for me and all this ice cream. And then, then, and then Aki threatens her like, hey, if you don't work, I want to tell these higher up that you ain't doing shit and they're going to kill you. And she's like, huh, all right then, kill me. Just fucking balls, you know what I mean? Just like, damn, they didn't give a shit. Then it cuts back to like Aki having a conversation with, with Makima about the Agent Devil. Because Aki is only working with her to get on that, that team to hunt for that gun devil. Makima saying, hey, this Angel Devil is pretty strong. It's strong. It's probably as strong or even stronger than that that guy that trained denji in power so if you you're if you're able to control him they'll take you a long way and she, yeah he'll he'll come through for you as well as we learn that most of the weapons used is from this angel devil after after he touches a life he can turn it into weapon then aki kills this um this devil right he's like, all right good job good day's work then then the angel's like hey there's a there's a devil hunter in here still alive but half of his body's gone and he's like begging to be killed. And then Oski asked the asked the angel. He's like, hey, can you kill him painful, painfully? I mean, <laughs> painlessly. And then the devil, angel devil is like, nah, I'm, I'm a devil first, not an angel. You know, I believe humans should die with the most pain. So right after hearing that, boom, right through the head. <laughs> the sword right through the head of that guy that was half and Aki's like damn I can't even pretend to be nice to you and then guess what Denji decides to show up again at Ri's work he's like hey you you've been here a while already so uh what's up and Denji oh I just came here for lunch I love the food and they're like oh that's some bullshit dog <laughs> that's some bullshit then Ri's like hey you should eat at my table Denji nah and then they start like sneak dissing each other they're like hey aren't you supposed to be working Denji aren't you supposed to be in school yeah, Diana. And I guess uh, he tells her that he's a devil hunter at at the age of 16, obviously. 
So she she's feeling something, but it's not apparent until later. So she decides Rees decides to move to Denji's table. Like, all right, I'm just reading. You want and Denji's like, I want to learn how to read, but the only word he knows is balls. And then he's like, hey, I would love to. I would have loved to go to school with you, Reese. And then boom, guess what? She's like, oh, you can just come at night with me. Denji's down, obviously. Horn dog over here. And the whole time he's like, damn, my heart belongs to Makima. My body won't listen. So that whole time he's in a predicament still. It cuts to a guy looking in the mirror, and he hear he's hearing a voice like, hey, get this chainsaw, get this chainsaw man's heart. And he calls him Typhoon, the guy looking in the mirror. And there, that I guess this voice and this Typhoon devil have a have a deal of some sort. Like, hey, you, if I'm able to do this, I can use your power. Then he warns that Typhoon devil about the ain the human that's with the chainsaw that she killed many devils already. That Typhoon devil, you know, just chugs it off. He's like, nah, I killed I killed way worse devil hunters that were invincible to say, this ain't nothing. I'll just um, do what they did, get their loved ones and then skin him you know torture him a little bit and then boom she he that human has to show me the heart and die you know what i mean it's just there's only so much they can take before they just want to be killed themselves so denji and reese sneak into the school at night and then they come across this classroom so they start teaching reese starts teaching like hey what's this what's this answer what's this answer and then the other one denji doesn't know one until the last one he's like oh that one that one says ass and then it gets kind of a serious moment like Reese is like hey I, I Denji I don't think your situation is that good man you're you're 16 you should be at school you you say that you get three meals a day you get to live on a sleep on a bed but that's the bare minimum Denji you know it's like it's not too much it's like barely the bare minimum I think you deserve better Denji can't really add on to this conversation he's like you know my head hurts I can't be doing this shit Reese's like oh let's go swimming okay at this point I don't know how much I can show on YouTube because like they just be taking off shit clothes because they, they're gonna they're gonna be swimming in that pool okay so hopefully y'all don't mind and leave a like please thank you then you say he doesn't know how to swim then reese is like ah just stay up for clothes so you won't sink denji i'll show you how to swim so she's already undressed in the pool waiting for denji denji's the whole time still contemplating he's like damn my heart belongs to makima i can't do this dog <laughs> <laughs> but my body is telling me something else. I don't know the song. And then after some taunting, he decides to jump in. Then it gets kind of intimate. She's like, I'll teach you the things you don't know. And I'll teach you the things you can't do. I'll teach you everything. And then they start to, it starts to rain. So they decide to go back inside into that classroom. And then Reese asks Denji a question like, Would you rather be the town mouse or the country mouse? Confused of like this question, obviously, Denji. As well as Aki is hearing the same story somewhere else with the angel devil. Angel devil explains that country mouse gets to live in safety. But doesn't get to eat delicious food like they have in the city. The town mouse gets to eat delicious food but runs a higher risk of getting killed by humans or cats. Then right here we get kind of more insight into um, the angel devil's um, I guess some some backstory you know some juicy juicy lore. And the angel devil's like I'd rather be a country mouse but I was one until Makima caught me and put me into the city and she's like I'll just pass on dangers of being associated with city boys like you. And referring to Aki. Then Denji answers this question of like, yeah, I'd rather be the town mouse. Ree's kind of confused. She's like, well, you can't really beat peace, Denji. Denji explains like, ah, it's like the food and it's always fun here. And she's like, huh, is that all you care about? Well, there's a festival going on. So kind of asked him on a date to go to that festival tomorrow. And Denji's like, oh yeah, hell yeah, I'll go on that date. She was like, she decides to leave the room or to the restroom. Then on her way to the restroom, she meets that guy that was talking to himself in the mirror. And he's He's like hey let's go together and then she decides to run away onto the roof well denji's having like a midlife crisis in that that same classroom right they make it on the roof Ree starts to run away further and further towards like the end of the roof kind of and this the typhoon devil's like hey i just need your i just need your boyfriend down there to come up here i just need his heart i'll just torture you a little bit you're gonna be the little cheese for the mouse to say so he goes in for the knife plunge she dodges that hoe dodges that hoe gets behind him and starts choking him and then boom she's already she starts speaking russian Reese, she's speaking russian and then like the little glimpses of this was like oh i want to go to she's talking about jane do you want to go to church with her she's just see the aquarium the penguins and at the end of the night they'll sleep in the church Reese, Reese knows this killer and calls him typhoon 
and then and then it finally clicks for that typhoon devil and then he starts to apologize she's some she's some other different beast okay she's i'll let this go but tells him to get rid of the body then she comes back to denji like nothing happens the next day rolls around they're having a fun day at the festival they're seeing the fireworks right at, at the top of this cliff then reese tells denji that again like hey your situation's kind of fucked up man 16 year olds shouldn't be doing all this shit the government shouldn't be making you fight these devils so would you quit your job and run away with me she said I i'll make you happy and i'll protect you this is a juicy juicy um volume to say right hopefully the next volume chapter volume five no six six but hopefully you enjoy this one make sure to leave a like all that shit and um i'll talk to you guys later boy